Hey, this is part nine of JavaScript interview series. Nothing apart from these questions can be asked in your interviews on session storage. So let us deep dive into each of these questions now. I have created a session storage. I have closed the browser and reopened the same browser. So will my session storage data persist? No, session storage data does not persist on browser close and reopen. I have created a session storage. I have closed the browser and reopened the browser and restored the existing tab. Will my session storage data persist? No, session storage does not persist here as well. I have created a session storage. Can I access the session storage of one tab in another tab in the same browser? No, we cannot do that. I created a session storage and I reloaded the page. Will my session storage data persist? Yes, session storage data persist on page reload. If I open multiple tabs with the same URL, will my session storage data can be accessible in multiple tabs? No, we cannot access the session storage data of one tab in another tab. If I open multiple tabs with the same URL, can I access the session storage data of one tab in another tab? No, we cannot access the session storage data of one tab in another tab, even if it is the same URL. If I open multiple windows with the same URL, can I access or share the session storage data between them? No, we cannot do that. When the session storage data will be removed? Once tab closes or the session ends, session storage data will be removed. What is the maximum storage limit of session storage? It's 5 MB. What if I want to store more than 5 MB of data? It will throw an exception called quota exceeded exception. Is session storage synchronous or asynchronous? Session storage is synchronous. If I perform operations on session storage, it will block the execution of other JavaScript code until this particular action is completed. 